So what's it like printing with wood PLA? Is it any good? Let's take a look. So in testing the wood PLA, what I've decided to do is print an eight tooth spur gear with a D center uh, suitable for a NEMA 17 stepper motor. So the PLA in question is the wood variety. It's a 250 gram spool available from JCAR in Australia. So what I want to do is test this out and compare it to normal PLA and just see whether or not it's uh, worth the money and how well it prints and what are the tips and tricks for printing with wood PLA. As I mentioned, this is a 250 gram small sized spool. That's quite a nice spool, but the PLA itself does seem to be uh, rolled onto that spool in a rather ad hoc sort of fashion. So for my first test, I'm going to print on glass, nothing but glass, just make sure it's extremely clean. And for this first test, I'll print the eight tooth uh, spur gear directly on glass, uh, standard settings, I have leveled the bed, 200 degrees Celsius, 45 millimeter per second travel speed. So as you can see, the print was quite successful. Apart from one little uh, glob of PLA, there were no real problems printing this and it came out almost as well as uh, my go-to filament, which is the Polymax by Polymaker. And it came out equally as well as standard ABS. Okay, so now for a much more difficult print, I'm going to print the uh, portable gaming console that I did in the previous episode out of this wood PLA filament. Uh, same settings, 200 degrees, uh, 45 uh, millimeters per second travel speed with a bed temperature of 50 degrees C. And I'm going to let this one run. This is a four hour print, so I'll speed it up a little bit. So as you can see, stringing in this particular print, in this particular PLA, is extremely bad. I haven't modified the settings, but I've used these settings with other PLA filament, including the Polymax Polymaker, um, without any issues whatsoever, virtually no stringing. Uh, however, with this particular filament, the stringing, as you can see, is quite severe. So after a little bit of cleanup, you can tell that the stringing was fairly easy to clean up, even though it was quite severe and I have a reasonable print. The print is quite accurate, the walls are very straight, everything is nicely aligned. Obviously I put a little bit of um, glue on the glass bed to make sure that a large print like this doesn't move, and of course it didn't, and the rest of the print has turned out quite well. So all in all, I would say that the JCAR uh, wood PLA is a reasonable PLA to use. You do get that nice wood finish, and aside from the stringing, which can probably be fixed with uh, different retraction settings, uh, it is not bad at all. Probably a seven out of 10. So thanks very much for joining me. I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome and give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it. And I hope you'll join me again in a week's time.